Pitch inside corner, another beauty. 0-2 on Kruger with the shortstop Fiorenzo on deck. Bouncing ball over the middle. That's going to find center field. One will score. Here comes a throw in. Actually, the center fielder is going to run it in. Another run will score, and it is now 12-6. They're starting to kind of pick away at that lead, and coming out is starting pitcher Randy Ennis. Did a nice job, but I think he might have kind of ran out of gas there. And now the new pitcher is going to be the flame-throwing right-hander, Steve Walton. Of course, today's game brought to you by the Comox Harvest Marine Company. And a special thanks goes out to Comox for supporting Canadian baseball. So Walton's first pitch is swung on and missed. Going up against a tough competitor in Mike Fiorenzo, maybe one of their top two or three players on there for the Michigan Ball Club. He is one for two. He had a single his last time up. They have had nine base hits on six runs, and it looked like a slider that really overpowered Fiorenzo. Choking up on the bat, and he pops it up. It's lifted in the air out towards the shortstop. He drifts out in the shallow left field. He makes the catch. That is the first out of the inning. So Walton did exactly what he is supposed to do in this situation, come in and get an out. Now Zeke. He's first pitch hacking, and he lifts a fly ball to left. Let's see if the runner tags from third. He will. And now he puts on the brakes and stays right there. So Fiorenzo and Padron unable to score the runner from third base. Still first and third, now two out for Kenny Foreman. Well, if Walton can get this out here, how monumental would that be? Pitch. Swing and a miss. Here's the throw to second. And not in time. And the ball goes rolling out in the center field. And the run will score. And it's 12 to 7. Runner at second base. In with a stolen base. Foreman now with a chance to really get his team back in it. Here's a roller up the first baseline. The first baseman, Bennett, takes it to the bag, and the side is retired. Three unassisted, but the damage was done to the tune of three runs in the inning, and at the end of five and a half innings of play, it's 12-7 Canadians. 